In physics, a Galilean transformation is used to transform between the coordinates of two reference frames which differ only by constant relative motion within the constructs of Newtonian physics. These transformations together with spatial rotations and translations in space and time form the inhomogeneous Galilean group. Without the translations in space and time the group is the homogeneous Galilean group. The Galilean group is the group of motions of Galilean relativity action on the four dimensions of space and time, forming the Galilean geometry. This is the passive transformation point of view. The equations below, although apparently obvious, are valid only at speeds much less than the speed of light. In special relativity the Galilean transformations are replaced by Poincaré transformations, conversely. The group contraction in the classical limit C infinity of Poincaré transformations yields Galilean transformations. Galileo formulated these concepts in his description of uniform motion. The topic was motivated by his description of the motion of a ball rolling down a ramp, by which he measured the numerical value for the acceleration of gravity near the surface of the Earth. Translation. Though the transformations are named for Galileo, it is absolute time and space as conceived by Isaac Newton that provides their domain of definition. In essence, the Galilean transformations embody the intuitive notion of addition and subtraction of velocities as vectors. This assumption is abandoned in the Poincaré transformations. These relativistic transformations are applicable to all velocities. Whilst the Galilean transformation can be regarded as a low-velocity approximation to the Poincaré transformation, the notation below describes the relationship under the Galilean transformation between the coordinates and of a single arbitrary event, as measured in two coordinate systems S and S, in uniform relative motion in the common X and X directions with their spatial origins coinciding at time t equals t equals zero. Note that the last equation expresses the assumption of a universal time independent of the relative motion of different observers. In the language of linear algebra, this transformation is considered a shear mapping, and is described with a matrix acting on a vector. With motion parallel to the x-axis, the transformation acts on only two components. Though matrix representations are not strictly necessary for Galilean transformation, they provide the means for direct comparison to transformation methods in special relativity. Galilean transformations The Galilean symmetries can be uniquely written as the composition of a rotation, a translation and a uniform motion of space-time. Let X represent a point in three-dimensional space, and T a point in one-dimensional time. A general point in space-time is given by an ordered pair. A uniform motion, with velocity v, is given by where v r 3. A translation is given by where her a r 3 and b r. A rotation is given by where g r 3 r 3 is an orthogonal transformation. As a Lie group, the Galilean transformations have ten dimensions. Galilean group Two Galilean transformations composed to form a third Galilean transformation. The set of all Galilean transformations Gal on space forms a group with composition as the group operation. The group is sometimes presented as a matrix group with space-time events as vectors where T is real and XR3 is a position in space. The action is given by where S is real and V, X, Y, R3 and R is a rotation matrix. The composition of transformations is then accomplished through matrix multiplication. Gal has named subgroups. The identity component is denoted S Gal. Let M represent the transformation matrix with parameters V, R, S. Uniformly special transformations. Shifts of origin. Rotations of reference frame, uniform frame motions, the parameters S, V, R, Y span 10 dimensions. Since the transformations depend continuously on S, V, R, Y, Gal is a continuous group, also called a topological group. The structure of Gal can be understood by reconstruction from subgroups. 
The semi-direct product combination. Origin in group contraction. Here, we only look at the Lie algebra of the Galilean group. It is then easy to extend the results to the Lie group. The relevant Lie algebra is spanned by H pi C i and L i j, subject to commutation relations, where H is the generator of time translations. Pi is the generator of translations, CI is the generator of Galilei and boosts, and LIJ stands for a generator of rotations. This Lie algebra is seen to be a special classical limit of the algebra of the Poincaré group, in the limit C infinity. Technically, the Galilean group is a celebrated group contraction of the Poincaré group. Renaming the generators of the latter as IMN, GLMN, PI PI, P0H, C, KCCI, where C is the speed of light, or any function there of diverging as a C infinity, the commutation relations of the latter limit to that of the former. Note the group and variance LMN, LMN, PP, central extension of the Galilean group.